you go over there and brush your shoes off? Do it.
Atlanta Black Pride Weekend Interfaith Service. Is that all right? Oh, you can do better than that. I heard where there's two or three gathered together. I know this is an interfaith service, but I got to borrow something from my faith. Is that all right? All right, all right. I am Bishop Elect Sonia E. Williams, and I will be serving as your presider on this evening. Uh, there will be an official welcome coming shortly. Uh, but I just wanted to stand before you as the pastor of Real Inspiration Ministries in Atlanta and as the bishop of the South Region of the Fellowship of Affirming Ministries. And we all want to speak the name of our presiding privilege in this space, Bishop Yvette Plunder. But on this evening, I stand here as a member of the Atlanta Black Pride Committee. And the Atlanta Black Pride Committee, along with the Honorable Councilwoman Keisha Waits, and our Honorable Commissioner Khadija Abdul Rahman, is that right? We welcome you into this space. I'm not going to be before you long uh, because I believe we're here for a good time, but not a long time. Is that all right? But I am just excited to see all of your beautiful uh, faces. You know, we come from diverse backgrounds, diverse space, diverse, uh, there's diversity in this room, but there is a golden thread that unites us. Is that all right? And we all share space in this earth house together. And I believe we all have the same common goal, to love our neighbors and to do no harm to anyone. And that is the glue that brings us together in this space on this evening. We can celebrate that. We can celebrate that. Yes. All right. So we're going to follow the program outline. Deja Abdur Rahman. And then after that, we will have an invocation of four faiths, which will be Bishop Chief Troy Sanders. And I'm saying it all like this so y'all will be prepared to come in this order. Reverend Duncan E.T., Rabbi Nehemiah D. Sullivan, and Reverend Marissa Penderman. You will come and be ready to present in that order. God bless you. Thank you so much, Bishop. It is a pleasure. There's something special about being at City Hall in the city of Atlanta. There's something historic about the fact that we're actually celebrating pride here at City Hall in the city of Atlanta. And at 50, I can remember going to a gay pride celebration many, many years ago and I never would have dreamed that would happen. And so I thank our previous mayor, Keisha Lance Bottoms, for her vision. And I thank our existing mayor, Andre Dickens, for continuing that tradition here in this building. But nonetheless, we have some amazing partners tonight, and uh, I am excited to welcome my good friend, my partner in crime, Commissioner. Is she, where is she? She's coming. Okay, Come lovely. Okay. Sounds great. But nonetheless, be safe this weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Have a great, amazing time. And uh, one of the things that Commissioner said that I thought was prolific is that it's so important that we don't just do this during Pride Weekend, but we do this all year round in terms of celebrating our victories and success. Because as you all know, that oftentimes we're on the menu. And when you look at federal government and state policies, we have a lot going on. So I'm going to turn the mic over to Bishop and when Commissioner's ready, I'm sure she will. So my partner in crime, 
for 20 years. I love you, I appreciate you. I thank you for your vision. And I look forward to your comments. I'm sure they're gonna be nice and nice. <laughs> First off, stop telling people we've been knowing each other 20 years. I might want somebody to think I'm a spring chicken and not no old bird. <laughs> stop doing that, my friend. <laughs> Look, y'all, how's everybody doing? Everybody's good. Everybody's good. If you glad you woke up this morning in your right mind, okay, with somebody that loves you, I know you can give God some praise. I am Commissioner Khadijah Abdul Rahman, affectionately known as Commissioner Khadijah. I am so honored to be here tonight uh, celebrating what I call love in action. Uh -huh, man. I am the first Muslim woman elected to office in the state of Georgia. And the thing about knowing God, you better know him whether you want to call on him, now as you call is more important. Because at the end of the day, all of us are going to be somewhere. You just better make sure you're on the right side, not the wrong side. And as I get into this presentation, you know, oftentimes I tell my good friend, Councilwoman Keisha Mike, I mean, Keisha uh, Waits, don't put a mic in my hand because I'm one of those elected officials that when God puts something on my heart to say, I'm going to say it. And I deal with the consequences later. But as we celebrate Black Pride, My friend told me to hold my mule, so I'm like, can, I, can I let my mule go now? <laughs> I have my mule, but I'm gonna let it go now. We must advocate 365 days a year, not just doing pride, I love pride. Don't get me wrong, all y'all look so beautiful. And I love you. But understand, there are folks that we just see that's elected officials doing prayer. We don't see them no other time during the year. So let's truly be family, because family is about accountability. If you can't tell family when the slip is showing, then you can't tell nobody. And so what I'm saying is let's stop playing in the cradle of civil rights when it comes to the LGBT community. Let's make sure that we truly are a village that loves, and guess what? The less of these always got to be at the top of the table and not at the bottom. Yeah. The money has to be for HIV. The money has to be for those that have worked and given of their lives, and now you want to talk about they don't have any insurance. Now you want to talk about no expansion. Now you want to talk about, well, you know, if they homeless, what we can do about it. What you can do is make it where the homeless people, we ain't talking about the ones that's on the streets. What about the ones that's sleeping on your sofa? Because I got a couple on mine. Now see, I know that my good friend over here, Bishop Sonia, going to bring the word. But guess what? I got to tell my people, continue to fight, continue to stand, continue to say a word to the right because at the end of the day we are only as strong as our weakest link and we cannot be at a table feeding our stomach when our sister or brother is hungry you must have the same hunger pains as those that don't have the food in front of the table so what i ask as you look at this pride and you enjoy the festivities and you enjoy seeing those that have come from afar understand the other 364 days out the year we got to work for the community and the whole
the elected officials accountable the rest of the year. All right. Y'all still love me because I still love y'all. All right. What I want to do right now, this sister here, and she is no longer bishop elect. You know, she said bishop elect so long it just stuck with her. Bishop Sonia, please come forward. Any of your family members or friends, please come. Special, special, special thing that I want to do for you. This is a woman who has done so much work. Other folks and took credit, but I won't be quiet now. I ain't going to be in trouble. <laughs> She's done so much work in the community. And I thought at the county level, where as this is the highest recognition at the county level. This is actually legislation. If you Google this a hundred years from now, you will find it. And I wanted to give Bishop Sonia E. Williams her flowers while she's still living. Yeah. Yeah. because my heart is full. I love this sister. I love her for the work that she does because I see God in her. And when you see God in other folks, you hope that they see God in you too. Amen. So whereas Bishop Sonia E. Williams is the daughter of Minister of Music, Mary W. Sellers, Master of Divinity and Elder Armstead Williams, Master's in Education is a graduate of Middle Tennessee State University where she received a Bachelor's of Science degree in Elementary Education and pledged Anna Phi, if I'm saying it wrong, <laughs> Anna Phi Chapter of Alpha Kappa, Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. And whereas Bishop Williams also earned a Master's of Theological Studies from Restoration Theological Seminary, a certificate in New Thought and Spirituality from Barbara King School of Ministry and a certificate in Pastoral Care and Christian Counseling for the ITC Continuing, Continuing Theological Education Program. And whereas Bishop Sonia is ordained in the Fellowship of Affirming Ministries, where she currently serves as Bishop of the South Region, she is also a licensed minister in the Southeast Conference of the United States, excuse me, United Church of Christ. And whereas Bishop Sonia's life call is the work of Jesus and justice minister. I'm gonna say that one more time. The work of Jesus and justice ministry because you got to be able to understand injustice in order to understand Jesus. Where she advocates for reproductive justice, LGBTQ, our rights, women's rights, voting rights, and the food and housing insecure in Atlanta and Jackson, Mississippi. And whereas Bishop Sonia's ministerial journey spans 30 years, and in 2008, she founded Real Inspiration Ministries Fellowship, UCC. to pastoring, Bishop Sonia serves on many boards, including two years on the Clayton County, Georgia LGBT Advisory Board, the board of the Atlanta Black Pride Committee, Black Votes Matter, and she participates in Georgia's Concerned Black Clergy and Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens Faith Council. In 2018, Bishop Sonia was named as one of Georgia's 100 most influential LGBT persons in Georgia. And I don't have enough calm space to tell y'all what this sister has done. Because she does the work. And I stand here so proudly to, to just say I love you, Bishop, because when I look at you, it keeps me going. Somebody else can do it. And if we can all do it, we can make a change. 
So whereas Bishop Sonia is the proud spouse of First Lady Regina Anderson Williams and the bonus mother of Dashley Grant and grandmother of Dakota Grant, it is with humble pride that today, now therefore be resolved, that the Fulton County Board of Commissioners recognizes Bishop Sonia E. Williams for her tireless work on behalf of the LGBTQI rights and does it hereby proclaim Friday, September 1st, 2023, as Bishop Sonia E. Williams Appreciation Day. And they've not responded and answered. And, and they have street credibility, if you will. They're not in it for the elitism. They're not in it for the celebritism. <laughs> That's a word. But they're in it because they have an earnest desire to see people live their best lives. And so I'm just so honored and appreciative. And I thank you. Thank you, Real Inspiration Ministries. Rim Fellowship UCC, y'all want to make some noise? Sometimes it's a thing that's just, you know, but we keep doing it. I'd like to say good evening to everyone. Good evening. And I apologize for my appearance. I'm running to another event where we're not, it's not as formal. Uh, but I did, did want to stop by and thank my colleague, Keisha Waits, and of course, our great commissioner, Khadija for being here today and helping to put this on. And it is great that uh, this event is being held, is being held here at Nancy Hall. When we talk about inter the interfaith community, when we talk about the diversity of worship of Almighty God, you know, I, I'm not gonna preach. Come on now. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say something. You know, and I don't want to get struck by lightning either. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to temper my comments. But when God said, let us make man and woman in our image, that was all the divinity that we needed. We're all made in God's image. We're all God's children. And it is up to us to love one another as we would love ourselves. Amen. And so if we can just stop in our lives, as we move about our lives, because we're all different. Amen. Diversity runs through mankind. It's not unique to any group or personage, but it, it is what makes the rainbow. Amen. Amen. That make that makes the that makes life being beautiful and great. And so I just wanted to again welcome you all to. City Hall, this is your city hall. This is our city. 
And it's not just a beacon for civil rights, it's a, it's a beacon for human rights. And we're gonna continue to build on that going into the future with your help and with your prayers. And so please continue to pray for all of us. And as Khadija and Keisha will tell you, don't think elected officials don't need prayer. We need a lot of prayer. So continue to pray, pray for those who support you and continue to pray for those who don't. To change their heart and mind to come around to the right way of thinking. And so with that, I'll, I'll close, but again, welcome to City Hall. Have a successful, successful Black Gay Pride weekend. And of course, if there's anything that our officers can do to help to facilitate that or anything else during the year, you have our love and support. So amen, God bless, and y'all have a wonderful evening. And you all look fantastic. Love is changing. Let go. 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 Most, if not all, spiritual and religious traditions, space and grace is given to remember and honor those who walked among us but have not gone on, and still actively a part of our ancestral plane. We pour libations to honor the past so that we may learn from it. We use water because water has no enemies. We use water as a symbol of continuity to purify and nourish our souls. So after each declaration, I invite those of you today to join me and affirm by saying, Ashe. Ashe. We pour libations this afternoon, this evening, to honor divine source, divine energy, and all of the ways that this divine energy is understood among us. God, Allah, Hashem, Oya, Elohim, Light, the Universe, Obatala, Yimaya, Oshu, Ilegwa, Chango, Olafu, Olarun, Oladumari, Truth, Higher Consciousness. Those names and expressions yet to be revealed and understood because they've not entered into humankind and human consciousness. We honor divine. We say Ashe. Ashe. We pour libations to Mother Africa, the birthplace of all humanity. Let us say Ashe. Ashe. We pour libations to honor and remember the ancestors who died during the Middle Passage. Those individuals who fought and resisted the enslavement to help free our people. Women and men who led others to freedom, who fought others for freedom, who lifted others in the name of freedom. We say Ashe. Ashe. We pour libations to the siblings of the 60s who understood what it meant to struggle and fight for civil and human rights. Those who had the courage to exercise black power, post past community leaders, political leaders, senators, Congress people, council people, presidents, vice presidents, CEOs, sacred troublemakers who now live in our memories. We all say, Ashe. Ashe. We pour libations to those LGBTQI warriors who stood up to oppression and gave way to Stonewall rebellions. Those siblings of all colors, expressions, walks of life, who paved the way for our continued fight for freedom. And we say, Ashe. Ashe. We pour libations to those right here in Atlanta, Georgia, who were among the first to form the community and convene the very first Atlanta Black Gay Pride. 
but now have ascended to that great cloud of witnesses upon whose shoulders we stand tonight. We all say, Ashe. Ashe. We pour libations to all those gender non-conforming and non-binary siblings who rest with our ancestors, having died before they acknowledged in the manner in which the honors their existence. We honor them by saying Ashe. Ashe. We pour libations for friends, family members, and co-workers, confidants, spouses, children, parents, well-wishers, and countless individuals who lost their lives recently over the years to COVID, HIV and AIDS, cancer, diabetes, and other nameless illnesses. We say, Ashe. Ashe. We pour libations for our trans family members who lost their lives due to violence, ignorance and privilege, as well as those LGBTQI members who have died as a result of senseless gun violence. We say Ashe. Ashe. I now invite you in the room to call the names of your ancestors, those spirit guides that you are connected to, those friends, family, and loved ones who have gone on but still hold dear in our hearts. Would you honor them by recognizing their name? Yes. Ashe. 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 Oh, may we never forget. May we never forget to remember. As we shout out their names, I declare Ashe. Ashe. Oh. Ashe. Oh. I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And this great bishop. Have y'all ever seen somebody get something and you go, who is that? <laughs> what they done? Huh? Amen? Amen. You wonder, well, where did they come from? We didn't say none of that, did we? Half of some of the stuff she named, you have had to be a part of because she called you, because she called me. Amen. And I, I called you and said, yes, thank you. Congratulations. I wish I had some pink roses right now to give you. I told you she walked faster than me. 